there's one constant in all of our lives, and that's gravity. And it's only been in the last few decades with the space age that we can play around, do things without that force that we call 1G. And so that's what this project with Odd Bay is all about. What happens if you grow molecules, in this case, terpenes that were grown in whiskey, without that 1G? What do we learn? The Odd Bay canisters had to travel to the same launch site where Sputnik, the first satellite, was launched from. And the first man, Yuri Gagarin. And we had liftoff, liftoff of the Soyuz. This is a place where humanity took its first steps off the planet. To our knowledge, no one has really studied how terpenes react in microgravity. What we learn in this project is not just about scotch. Terpenes are the building blocks in a number of consumer products. The question here is, as the terpenes are exposed to the oak, will they behave differently? Will you get a different taste? And for the past two years, they've been sitting there on the space station, hopefully aging away and coming up with all new flavors, we hope, to get it back down on the Earth. And they'll put the nano lamp filled with the canisters, the odd big canisters, in the U.S. approved cargo and we've reserved precious space at the feet of the astronaut. And they'll close the door, and they'll push back and decouple from the space station, and then they begin the descent. And uh, there is the Soyuz under its chutes as we are standing by for touchdown. Touchdown confirmed. Right on the button, 8.23 a.m. on the steppe of Kazakhstan, back on Earth. And when they land, they remove the uh, astronaut. Then they'll reach in and take out the American cargo, including our odd bag. Uh, they put it on the NASA jet, and it flies to uh, Houston. And my guys take it off the jet, and we'll have some very rigorous examination working with the scientists at odd bag to see if the terpenes have behaved differently. It's been a long process with a lot of folks, both at Nanorax, NASA, the Russian Space Agency, the cosmonauts, astronauts, all involved in this. And that's why space is so difficult.